All right, we are at the very tail end of the current rendition of Real Racing 3. Uh, I believe it's version 5.6.0. Uh, as you can see here, we're expecting a big update, a large number update to 6.0, so not 5.7. So we're expecting some major changes to the game, I'd assume. Um, obviously, we have the Spielberg track, uh, the Red Bull Ring in the new update so that is pretty exciting and but also since it's going to be a big number jump i'm expecting there's going to be some major reorganizing of the game as well so that's kind of exciting to uh anticipate here anyway that's not why i'm making this video we got 50 percent racing dollar reward happening as it's been happening towards the very end of each uh, version of Real Racing 3. And uh, today's daily bonus is also 20% fame bonus. So, um, instead of running the usual 10 lapper, I feel like uh, for 20% I need something more efficient that's worth my time. And that is, of course, using the fastest car we have available in the game. Not as in top speed, because that's still, that crown still goes to Hennessy Venom GT. But in terms of actual fastest lap time, thanks to its nimble handling as well as the top speed, that crown goes to MP4X McLaren. Some might say it's unrealistic. Uh, yeah. It, it, it is, uh, where are we kidding? But anyway, so, um, yeah, in its exclusive series, there is a endless Le Mans endurance race. Now, to, uh, to make it in, uh, endless, you, you do have to be pretty good at it. Um, I am not quite there yet. I need more practice. Uh, to make that run endless so I do make some mistakes still but uh, good enough uh, that I can get enough distance to make this race worthwhile for that extra bonus that we're getting here so um, obviously you need your car fully upgraded what does it say discover the power of possibility in this concept car that's like no other indeed so here is the breakdown of this exclusive series rewards and the race i'm looking for is in tier three the first one you see is going to be the endurance at le mans and as long as you don't make any egregious mistakes you should be able to get uh, about three laps here um so let's uh Hire some friends here. And uh, Eric, yeah, he can take a break. <laughs> um, let's find out what kind of distance I'm expected to win this one. I believe each lap is about 13 kilometers. So 39 and change. So that's about, uh, yeah, about three laps. I think that comes slightly under actually full three laps um, so it'll require me to cut some corners um, notably the first Dunlop chicane and the last Ford chicane especially at the later laps the first lap shouldn't matter I should be able to get through the first lap just running like a normal race I think Try to get the most distance in lap one and two. The, the crucial lap is going to be a lap three. Now, across any laps, one thing that you have to be careful of when you're running this race is uh, making sure that you don't damage your car by uh, crashing. Uh, light contact, obviously, is fine, but uh, just check how quickly you can accelerate your. Car. So as you can see right now, when the car is in good condition, 
it can accelerate up to about what 420, 400, almost 430 kilometers per hour without any hesitation as you can see this number just keeps on going without slowing down it's not by a large degree so that's uh, what you want to keep because uh, you don't want to fall behind in these straights in later laps because if you do uh, then obviously there's no chance you're not the only one that's fast here. <laughs> the opponents that you have to overtake are just as fast. Yes, they do, uh, as always, kind of overcompensate around the bends. Uh, so you can overtake around the corners, but uh, if you lose them too much in the straight, then it doesn't really matter. So, so lap one, you can run like a normal race. Try to keep it clean, stay on tarmac. And these Porsche curves can almost go full throttle almost all the way through. Um, the grip on this car obviously allows you to do that. So, alright, here's the lap 2, now let's see, I might actually start cutting across here. Alright, so far so good. It's not quite 460 plus of uh, Venom GT, but this car can actually go all the way up there and clear those corners, the chicanes, without slamming into the wall, which is the important part, obviously, when you're running a full lap. still able to overtake in the straights, which is good. All the way in. Take advantage of the insane grip this guy allows you to have. And yes, I'm beginning to cut corners. Because uh, I need all the help and advantage I can get here. I could have taken that without uh, letting up on the gas, but uh, as I said, gotta make sure I don't crash. Because I need to overtake these guys on these straights. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to overtake this guy. So let's find out. Uh, maybe not. 
At least I'm not falling too far behind, which is important. Uh, I think that'll be able to take. Uh, uh, maybe not have to overtake this guy and uh, going into the mall sand corner at the end here. seconds that I have left here. This car I certainly hope so. As long as I don't make some outrageous mistakes. And overtake. Alright. Got 30 seconds. seconds am I gonna go well, the important thing is I got the first place so I know I'm gonna get my daily bonus and such and there we go that four see her keep filling up the timer maxing out 90 seconds that's the, of course, the key factor here. Outside on that guy. left here before the clock, it's midnight here, so um, I might, I will probably end the race before, so I can get that extra 20%. Uh, I might be forced into that situation at this rate, it's getting out like that, not helping. Um, the later laps, like left three and four and on, you are not really, those mistakes are, um, it's harder to recover from them. So there's nobody to overtake if you lose them, as you can see, so, but right, that's fine, 50 kilometers and change. Or what? I don't know how long I've been racing, maybe 10 minutes? It's good enough for me. Alright, so let's see. Yeah. I mean... Let's see, how does that amount compare to the Le Mans 10 lapper? Let's see, I'm gonna look up my 10 lap per stat here. Um, and see if I can compare. So, endurance champions, right? Um, let's see. So, fame bonus at 41,000. For running for like 10 minutes actually is quite good I would say because uh, normally with a 10 lap I think you get like 50 thousand 57 thousand somewhere around there um, and that is with uh, hiring your agent um, so yeah Obviously, if you keep it clean and 
are able to run for longer time um, if you run the same distance as a 10 lapper let's say you run 10 laps with this car uh, this will pay out significantly higher of course the key is that it is not as easy <laughs> um, so anyway we'll get the car serviced and in the meantime uh, yeah so we'll have a uh, new update video tomorrow sometime when it's released um, so uh, at least for me here two percent done with that one endurance race so all right so something else uh, switch things up you know all right so we'll see you probably sometime tomorrow uh, when the new release comes out all right till then Take care.